Welcome to the 5th Annual Oak Hill 200. It's one of the shortest races on the schedule, but one of the most action-packed. Ryan Newman in the number 12 Alltel Dodge, the Rocket Man. He won the pole for today's race. Starting alongside him on the front row is going to be Martin Truex Jr. in the number 1 Bass Pro Shop Chevy. Row 2 has Hendrick teammates of Jeff Gordon and Jimmy Johnson. Row 3 is Carl Edwards and Dale Earnhardt Jr. We're going to take a full look at the starting lineup and race info for today's race. We're also going to look at some of the fantasy picks, and remember that the fantasy competition ends at the end of the regular season, which means that after this race, there are just two races left until we crown the fantasy champion. On the bottom right of your screen, you can see the previous winners of the Oak Hill 200, and twice has the winner of this race gone on to win the championship that season, both Mark Martin in Season 2 and Kyle Petty in Season 4. Right now, the pace car is heading on to pit road, and we're ready to get this race started. Green flags in the air. The Oak Hill 200 is underway. Already we're three wide for the lead. Jeff Gordon grabs the lead. Martin Truex Jr. fighting back on the outside. Here comes Jimmy Johnson. He's going to make it three wide again. Martin Truex Jr. leads lap one. Jeff Gordon fighting strong. He's going to clear Jimmy Johnson on the bottom. Maybe not. Johnson fighting back hard on the inside. Gordon leads lap two, but here comes Jimmy Johnson. Carl Edwards is in the mix now. He's looking for a way to get around these Hendrick teammates. Jimmy Johnson and Jeff Gordon are both locked into the playoffs. They each have a win so far this season. Carl Edwards does not have a win, so he's fighting extra hard on Jimmy Johnson to get to the lead of this race. Halfway bonus points coming this time by. Jimmy Johnson's going to get five extra bonus points for leading at halfway. Looks like Dale Jr. is going to be second, Carl Edwards third, Rusty Wallace in fourth, and Jeff Gordon rounding out the top five and the end of the halfway bonus points. Johnson continues to lead as Carl Edwards is on the inside of Dale Jr. for second. And trouble further back. David Stremme goes into the outside wall. The yellow flag is out for the first time today. Caution flag for a crash in turns one and two. Let's take a look at the replay. Ricky Rudd gets loose, and he comes down the racetrack and turns David Stremme head on into the outside wall, also collecting John Wood in the number 21 car. Unfortunately, that's going to end the day for all three of these drivers. Coming to the choose cone, each driver gets to choose which lane they want to restart in. Jimmy Johnson surprisingly takes the outside. Carl Edwards will be on the inside, Dale Jr. behind him in third. As every driver further back picks which lane they want to restart in. This is going to be a green-white checkered, by the way. The field will take the green flag with two laps to go. If the yellow flag waves before the white flag, then we'll have another green-white checkered attempt. If the yellow flag waves after the white flag, then the race is over, and whoever was leading at the time of caution is the winner. Green flag back in the air. Two laps to go in the Oak Hill 200. Carl Edwards gets loose. He spins out. Trouble with Rusty Wallace, Jeff Gordon, Ryan Newman. Big crash in turns one and two. Let's look at the replay and see what happened. Edwards did not get a great restart and a little bit of help there from Dale Jr. And Edwards just spins out right in front of the field. Jeff Gordon, Rusty Wallace, Ryan Newman, not much they could do. They get collected up in it. So unfortunate for Carl Edwards. He looked really strong today. He wanted to get the win and lock himself into the playoffs. This does mean that we're going to have another restart. And that means the choose cone first. Jimmy Johnson is going to pick the outside once again. Dale Jr. going to the inside. Kyle Busch following him. Truex will switch and go to the outside last minute. Jeremy Mayfield and Hugo Gonsalves will pick the inside lane as Elliott Sadler goes to the outside. There are some of the cars that have been knocked out of today's race due to crashes. Ryan Newman is still in the race, though. He is going to be a lap down, but Ryan Newman is still out there on the racetrack. The pace car is on pit road, and we're ready to go racing once again. Green flag back in the air. Two laps to go in the Oak Hill 200. Kyle Busch looking to the inside of Dale Jr. He's going to make it three wide for the lead off turn two. Kyle Busch and Dale Jr. side by side. Kyle Busch clears him for the lead. Here comes Jeremy Mayfield. White flag in the air. Mayfield looks low. Now he looks high. Kyle Busch blocks. Mayfield gets to the bottom. Mayfield and Kyle Busch side by side. Half a lap to go. Jeremy Mayfield running part-time this season. Coming off turn four, it's going to be Jeremy Mayfield winning the Oak Hill 200. For the first time this season, an underdog goes to victory lane. Jeremy Mayfield gets the win. Unfortunately, this win does not lock him into the playoffs because Mayfield is just a part-time driver, so he is not eligible for the Copperhead Cup Series playoffs. Elliott Sadler finishes second, Kyle Busch in third, Martin Truex Jr. came back to finish fourth, 
and then Denny Hamlin rounds out the top five. Here we have all the drivers that did not finish the race. Most notable on this list is Ricky Rudd, who only scored two points in today's race, and because of that, he dropped five spots in the season standings. Dale Jr. still leads over Jimmy Johnson and Jeff Gordon. Elliott Sadler and Kyle Busch each jumped up two spots to be fourth and fifth, and you can see Rusty Wallace in 11th place. He dropped a spot, but because of his win earlier this season, he's locked into the playoffs. Speaking of the playoffs, let's go ahead and look at the playoff grid with two races to go in the regular season. Dale Jr., Jimmy Johnson, Jeff Gordon, and Rusty Wallace, they're all locked in with a win. Eight drivers are going to make the playoffs. That's why the drivers ninth on back are in red, because if the playoffs started today, they would not be in them. Let's go ahead and take a look at the fantasy standings. 1989 Worms 1 still leads, but Action Racing Network and the Good Ranch Cup Series are closing in. And remember, the fantasy competition only runs through the end of the regular season, so there's just two races left until we crown the Season 5 Fantasy Champion. Now, this is usually the time that I would give a shout-out to anybody who picked the winner of this race. However, nobody picked Jeremy Mayfield to win the Oak Hill 200. Uh, so let's take a look at the drivers you can pick from for the next race. You can pick any two drivers from this list that you'd like to, just comment them down below. And keep in mind that Elliott Sadler is being replaced in the 38 car by David Gilliland. This was a scheduled change for Robert Yates Racing this season, but David Gilliland is going to be the new driver of the 38 car going forward. So it looks like that's going to do it for today's race. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you guys again so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in just a few weeks for race six.